In one of my earliest memories, I'm sitting on the bench seat of my dad's little blue pickup truck. I'm looking up at his face across the seat, and he's telling me, you're going to go to college because I want you to be able to do whatever it is you choose to do with your life. Growing up in Taos, New Mexico, my dad played basketball for the Taos Tigers. He got pretty decent grades in school, and he eventually married his high school sweetheart, otherwise known as my mom. But unfortunately, my dad never had the opportunity to go to college. Instead, shortly after they graduated, my parents moved to Albuquerque to find work and to try to make a better life for themselves. As my dad says, times were tough during those early years, just trying to make ends meet. But they didn't really know anything different at the time. It was only years later where they, they were able to land jobs at Sandia National Laboratories where they finally had the opportunity to take college classes. And with the schooling that they received that Sandia Labs helped pay for, they actually, my dad was able to become a laboratory technician well into his 40s. And my mom earned her bachelor's degree at the age of 46, the same year that I earned my own college degree. Through their example, I learned both the importance of education and the value of hard work. But most important were the high expectations that they set for me starting at an early age. As my dad says, he never really had anyone telling him in school that he might be college material. So from the time I was this tall, sitting in that little blue pickup truck with him, he was determined to set me on a different path in life. Thinking back on those early years, I'm often struck by how different my own life might have turned out without my parents' constant support and encouragement. And it's because of them that I'm so privileged to be standing on this stage today, sharing their story and inviting all of you to join me in a new community partnership known as Mission Graduate, which is committed to increasing college certificate and degree attainment, one student at a time, school by school, neighborhood by neighborhood throughout central New Mexico. Fortunately, my story turned out for the best. But for a lot of kids who grow up in low-income families, the odds are often stacked against them from day one. Research indicates that for, for many kids in low-income families with less educated parents, these kids are often less likely to succeed in school and less likely to attend and graduate from college. Um, so one of the things that we're working on, we're really trying to figure out how we can increase college certificate and degree attainment in this community so we can make New Mexico one of the best places in America to, for, for companies to come and locate so that they can create the best jobs for our community. And so oftentimes, I, oft, I often get hear from people who want to know, you know, why is it that we should be focusing on everyone going to college? Aren't we just wasting our time trying to create these opportunities for everyone when we know that not everyone's going to succeed when they get there? Now, it's a sentiment that I actually understand because having taught college-level classes, I know that students, if they don't have the right academic preparation, can often get lost when they get to college. And without the, the tools or the motivation or the grit to really persevere, it's difficult for them to succeed. But one of the things that I've often also found is that for many college, for many students, um, we adults often are too quick to judge who is college material and who is not. Instead, we need to create, we need to surround all of our students with all of the support that they need to make an informed choice about whether college is right for them. So what do we all do about it? What can we all do in this room about it? I want each of you to think about a specific person in your life someone in your life who could benefit from a little bit or maybe a lot of support to help them be successful in school. It could be a niece or a nephew that is just getting started in kindergarten who could really benefit from your help. It could be a child, child who's away at school and really um, maybe is feeling homesick and just needs a, a little bit of extra attention. For those of you who are business owners, it could be an employee who has always aspired to go back but can't seem to find the time or the motivation to do so. Now I want you to close your eyes, okay, and at the, at the count of three, I want you to focus all of your attention on that person. At the count of three, I want you to shout out the person, person's name that you are thinking about who could benefit from your support. Count of three, one, two, three. Excellent. So I think, you, as you can see, there there are lots of us, we all have people in our lives who could benefit from a little bit of extra help. But as you leave today, I want you to do more. I don't want you to just leave here with that person's face in your mind. I want you to commit to take just one concrete action that might be able to make a difference in that person's schooling to help them be successful in school or in college. 
And here are just a few examples of what that might look like. Could you maybe call them up and ask them out to lunch next week to talk about their objectives for college? Or maybe it becomes a regular lunch that you do with them. If you're a student, maybe it's one of your peers. Could you actually help them out with that class that they're struggling with? If you're that business owner, could you create an internship or maybe um, agree to mentor a student in the community who could benefit from a little bit of extra help or help that employee who has always wanted to go back? There is no shortage of ways that we can help the people in our lives who need our support and encouragement and guidance. Some actions are small, some are large, but everything that we do, whether we realize it or not, makes a big difference in those individuals' lives. Now, as you leave here today, I hope you've got that one action in your mind. As you leave with your plan of action to help change New Mexico one student at a time, I want you to know that you're not alone in this effort. Through Mission Graduate, we are committed to increasing college certificate and degree attainment by 60,000 new people by the year 2020. And it starts here today with the actions that each of you just agreed to take. So I encourage all of you to learn more about Mission Graduate and to join us in the, in, join the network of community members that we are helping to pull together who are already working to make central New Mexico one of the best places in America to live, work, and raise a family.